Blather 32, smoke and tobacco. You know, to start with, it was that when I had me Siggy at a place in the University of ANU, Australian National University, at a Christmas in July or June sort of meeting, and got asked for a Siggy from a, a lass, and she gave me a Siggy, and it gave that rush in the brain. But I started smoking from then on, the rush didn't last very long. But, um, I found, I found out over the years that I've been smoking, about a decade now, but I actually enjoy the flavour of smoking. I enjoy the taste of smoking. I don't inhale it terribly much down to my lungs terribly much. And mostly for the flavour, it's just a bit of a bit of in and out it goes. And um, most, I, I, I'm, I've quit a couple of times, but I went back to it. And mainly it's more of a fact that even though, you know, it's not greatest for your health, it's not the greatest things for your health, I generally just enjoy smoking. It's, uh, it gives me... At times when I'm here in my room and I'm doing my thing, it gives me a focus to settle down and sort of pass the time. It's I found that it's a very enjoyable way to actually pass the time of smoking. Sometimes I go and sit out on the couch in the backyard, the vinyl sort of leather sort of brown couch, and sort of I sit there for about 10 minutes and have a bit of a smoke go out there. And occasionally in the front seat of the, the carport at the front of the house, just have a bit of a smoke, but I found that it, it usually I'm quite happy with my ciggies because it passes the time well and it just it's just an enjoyable thing. Now, I'm not sure if I can really recommend smoking, but um, there are there are positives of smoking that um, it can be enjoyable for some people. It can be a good way to pass the time. It's expensive, but it, it can be a good way to pass the time and it uh, gives you something to do which is a bit pleasurable. Now, the, it's not the greatest thing for your health. Everyone knows that apparently, of course, it's cancel. Yeah, it can lead to that. And uh, I've had to, I've done withdrawal when I quit a bit, and that it was hell going for withdrawal. So you, you normally you do have to quit for a while and let the withdrawal happen to sort of deal with the toxins and stuff. But uh, for the most part, I smoke because I choose to smoke. I'm not really trying to get quit. I choose to smoke because I enjoy it and I like it a lot. And it's, it's one of the things which is, I think, probably helping me in life. Because uh, otherwise it can get a bit dry and bland and uh, not much happening. But with the smokes, I'm, I'm usually happy enough. So, um, yeah, glad the 32. Cheers.